A portion of this video is in partnership with Mint Mobile. So Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, I gotta say, and you can, you can see from the title, this is still the best four months later. And I truly think this is still the best smartphone that has released so far in 2024. Now I know we're, we're still almost halfway through the year and we still got a lot of other smartphone releases coming for the rest of the year, but they got some competition. Like this really set the bar up high and we gotta see what the competition is going to offer to see if it's better than the Galaxy S24 Ultra. But I wanna share with you guys my use, my experience of using this long-term, starting off with design. I love this build. This titanium build has been phenomenal. I love this like titanium color. It is awesome. I love the flat display. Some may not like it. Some may like the curved display, the slight curve with past iterations with the S23 Ultra, S22 Ultra and whatnot but I'm happy with the fully flat display of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. But what I've come to appreciate more with this is the anti-reflective display with this foam. Now, it's anti-reflective, it doesn't mean it's fully anti-reflective. It still does show some reflections here and there, but it is much better than its competition, I'll tell you that. Not only that, the display itself, the quality when using it on a daily basis when watching content and whatnot, very crisp, uh, very buttery smooth with 120 hertz panel, uh, 2600 max peak nit or 2600 nits of max peak brightness. Uh, it, it's just a content consumption device. It has a gorgeous display. I've had no complaints when using this phone on a day-to-day -day basis. And I'm, I'm playing games like Clash of Clans. I'm watching lots of YouTube videos. I am using this for social media and for browsing the web and whatnot, and I've had no complaints. Before I continue, I wanna talk about today's partner, Mint Mobile. About eight months ago, I decided to make the switch to Mint Mobile as my wireless network because of their quality of service and how affordable they are. So when Mint Mobile reached out to partner with me, I was more than happy to because I've been on their wireless network for almost a year. Mint Mobile offers premium wireless service for as low as $15 a month and you don't have to sacrifice any coverage, speed, or data. Why should you pay more than you have to for access to the same network? My experience on Mint Mobile has been amazing. It's blazing fast and I'm always out on the go watching lots of YouTube videos, and I mean lots of YouTube videos, playing Call of Duty, and Clash of Clans, and with Mint, I am able to rely on fast speeds. They keep costs low because they sell direct to you online. That means they cut out the retail stores and the salespeople, and in my experience, I think this saves so much hassle and time. This means you don't have to wait in line at a big wireless store anymore. Not only that, but switching to Mint is super easy. Thanks to their digital eSIM cards, you can sign up and activate immediately right on your phone from the comfort of your home. You can keep your current device and phone number and easily switch services. And if your phone isn't eSIM compatible, Mint will ship you a new SIM card free of charge. So when I received my SIM card about eight months ago, I just popped into my phone and I was all set to go. It was easy as that. I haven't looked back since and it was one of the best decisions I made. You'll be able to get unlimited nationwide talk and text plus lightning fast 5G and free mobile hotspot. So if you wanna save a little money without the sacrifice, just go to trymintmobile.com slash MTG, which is also linked in the description down below to get premium wireless service for just 15 bucks a month when you purchase a three month plan. Mint Mobile, we took what's wrong and made it right. And you know what? They did. Now, I don't use a screen protector and that's just my personal choice. So I do have scratches on the display and that's to be expected, like it, it just, gets scratched up when I put it on my desk or when I put it in my pocket, even though I don't put it in the pocket with my keys. I don't know. Nonetheless, like it has scratches and yeah, could I have prevented those by using a screen protector? Yes, because it has a flat display and my complaint or my excuse last year was I don't like having curved screen protectors, but I don't know. I just don't prefer using it on phones. I mean, I have it on my iPhone, but that's a different, like, I don't even know I have it on there either because I sometimes get annoyed by it. Uh, but there are scratches here and it's visible when I can when I look at it at an angle. But for the most part, it's just been awesome. No issues whatsoever. And these were much needed upgrades that I, I think 
have made the experience of the Galaxy S24 Ultra better. I don't really talk about the S Pen. Why? Because I don't really use it. Like if this was an Ultra device without the S Pen built in, I wouldn't really mind. Like here and there, yeah, if I'm signing documents, I'll pull it out. But for the most part, I'm just not using. That's just me. Others may appreciate having the S Pen built into the S24 Ultra. But in my experience, again, I've used it maybe like two or three times and that was it. So if it wasn't there, if it was omitted, I'd be perfectly fine with that. I wish this had an IR blaster because uh, before this, I was using the OnePlus Open that had an IR blaster and I quickly got used to it, turning on and off my TV and just like not using the remote. And when this doesn't have it, it's just like, you know, it, yeah, I can, I can live past it, past it, but it's just something that I wish it had a front facing camera. I like how it's centered uh, again, a part of the design, uh, the back, is plain simple i love the individual camera cuts it's great and just how it's more flat all around but overall design has still held up really well that's going to lead me into the performance and i've got only good things to say about the performance snapdragon 8 gen 3 optimization with uh, samsung one ui phenomenal i haven't had the phone heat up at all once it has nearly a 2x larger chamber vapor so well, I think it's like 1.9x larger, but it's like two times. I'm just rounding up to two times larger chamber vapor uh, when compared to its predecessor. 12 gigs of RAM on board, uh, 512 gigs of storage. So I got half a terabyte. It's been really beneficial. I have lots of storage on here. I can go with maybe, you know, a little bit more storage if I really wanted to, but this has been phenomenal. One UI 6.1, clean as ever. It's become my favorite OEM skin so far. And that's a lot to say because, I mean, I've been using Samsung devices since the Galaxy S, like the original, and I've come a long way from using TouchWiz to Samsung Experience to now One UI, and this is phenomenal. It's just been great. Like daily performance, you really can't go wrong. And if you're looking for a device and you're gonna use it as a heavy user, throw everything at it, multitasking, playing lots of uh, mobile games, even like Genshin Impact, and watching lots of YouTube videos and everything like that, using it to record camera lots or photos and record lots of video. This is going to be that device for you. The 8 Gen 3 is going to hold up very well. That now that we talked about, well, I just mentioned the camera, let's talk about that camera. 200 megapixel, I've really enjoyed it. Why? Because it gives you more detailed shots, uh, but also the fact that this camera setup has that 100X zoom, which, for me has been awesome. Like I've, I've realized that it's come in handy even in you know scenarios that I wouldn't think I would be using it, but I've come to use it more and more. And I did bring this with me on my uh, recent trip to Istanbul like two, three months ago. And the first one I went back in like September of 23, I didn't bring the S23 Ultra and I was really bummed out I didn't. But when I went in like February of 24, I went and brought my S24 Ultra and it was just great. Like the fact that I can take a 100X zoom photo and it's usable, like if I need to read something that's really far away, 100X zoom, I can now read like the billboard or whatever it is. This really came in clutch, I'll put it that way. And also daily photos are also really vibrant. If you like those vibrant type of photos uh, and videos are also really vibrant as well. Again, this kind of does come down to a preference thing. Some may not like more saturated photos or those vibrant photos. Some may like uh, Google Pixel type of photos. Some may like the iPhone type of photos. Again, it comes down to experience, but you're getting a wide array of different options uh, and opportunities with the Galaxy S24 camera setup. So it's a plus for me. And not only that, it's also getting a plus for me with the battery life. There's some sirens going on in the background, but that's okay. I'm gonna keep on going. The battery life, a 5,000 milliamp hour battery has been awesome. It's the same uh, capacity as its predecessors, S22 and S23 Ultra, but it still performs like a champ. 45 watt of wire charging. This charges to about full in an hour. And I'm fine with that. Like, I'm fine. I can wake up in the morning, put it in charge, and I'm all set to go for the rest of the day. I'm ending my day with about 40-ish percent and seven hours of screen on time. Uh, I've, I've seen other users that have get, been getting either better battery life or even worse. So it does really vary on how you use the phone. But for me, um, I have been getting seven hours of screen on time. But in the, for the past week, I 
and started to switch like my charging capacity so it max charges to 80 percent and that's it um, so yeah now i'm in the past week i haven't been reaching that seven hours because obviously i'm going to max 80 percent i just don't want to charge to 100 percent uh, i'm kind of doing what i do with my tesla right now um, but i'll put it this way i don't need to charge this overnight i don't need to worry about charging overnight uh, and waking up to 100% or 80%. I can just charge in the morning and I'm all, I'm all set to go. So if you're a heavy user, I can I can tell you this, you can rely on the battery on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Um, and if you're not, if you're a light user, expect two days, pretty much expect two days. Like you're just gonna use this for phone calling and for emails, occasional emails and here and, here and there, it's sort of like YouTube videos once in a while you're not gonna have any issues with the Galaxy S24 Ultra battery. And also I wanna, I wanna touch base on price because I think it's, it's an important part of picking up a phone with my experience working as a mobile consultant in Best Buy a couple of years ago. Uh, the, the customers that would come in, they would, yeah, you would pitch them a really nice product, but when you tell them the price, sometimes that would uh, push them away uh, from picking up that product, even though they really like everything about the phone with a great camera, with great battery life, with great performance, with a great build. When you tell them the price, they're like, yeah, that's still out of my budget. And the, the $1,300 starting price for this is yes, it's expensive. Phones are expensive. Like Galaxy S24 Ultra is expensive. Uh, but I mean, I got mine for a pre-order deal, which was really good. Double the storage, no extra cost. I traded in my S23 Ultra. I got even, you know, I got some off, so I didn't need to pay the $1,300. And I'll put it this way. Samsung always throws their devices on sale. Like you'll always find them on sale. So definitely be sure to be on the lookout for those. And if you want to see any, you know, sales, I'll be leaving links in the description down below. But the thing is, I would recommend picking this up when there are sales going on. I don't, you should be getting this at the $1,300 starting price. You're almost always going to find this or any Samsung devices at a deal at your local carrier or online. Uh, $1,300 for a starting price, don't, don't pick it up at that price. Pick it up when it's lower. Sometimes they'll even throw $200 off at a starting price. So now instead of $1,300, it's $1,100. Carrier deals may have even more deals, who knows? Uh, but yeah, the price does play a big role, but if you can find it on sale, I think you're getting a, a great device. And overall, it's a great upgrade from the predecessor. If you have the predecessor though, still don't upgrade to the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Um, but overall, like again, you're getting great design, you're getting great performance, that great build with the design, the great camera quality of both photos and in videos, great battery life. You're getting overall great phone. Another quick thing that I do wanna discuss about, it's the phone call quality. I mean, yes, it's a phone. We, I still use this to call. And while I did discuss earlier about Mint Mobile, I actually use Mint Mobile as my main carrier and it's phenomenal. It's absolutely great. Here's the thing, when I'm speaking with someone on the phone, they can hear me clearly, I can hear them clearly. That's that. And I've been using it with the Galaxy S24 Ultra and even with my past device that I reviewed, it's been phenomenal. Call quality on the S24 Ultra has also been great. Uh, and the 5G speeds have also been great. I've had no issues, no stutters whatsoever. Um, so that's a plus. So if you're looking for a phone with a good phone quality and good, you know, internet quality, Galaxy S24 Ultra is going to, again, uh, be a phone that I approve. So for four months later after using this device, I can still recommend it. I can easily recommend it. And some may argue that, hey, we're already four months or five months into the cycle of the Galaxy S24 series. Why not wait for the S25? Well, here's the thing. Let's wait for the S25, have that release, and wait for the S26. Have that release, wait for the S27, and the cycle just keeps going and going. And here's the thing, if I had the Galaxy S23 Ultra and reviewed that in a different video, I could probably recommend that too. So, I mean, you don't need to keep waiting for its successor to come out because successors are always going to come out no need to wait for it even if this is like eight months old in like november december when it's near the end of you know its first year of being out on the market i can still recommend it 
because you're getting overall great phone. Just a great package overall. I know I said I've been, I just repeated myself a bunch of times, but this is, you know, I, I approve of this phone. Good job, Samsung. Keep it up. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe the like button, comment down below, and best of all, share this video because it really does help out the channel a lot and will help push my content out to more people. That's been it for me, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.